Good morning, my name is Janelle Breeze Biagioni. I'm also known as the Hope Generator, and I'm on a mission to generate hope for people when they can't. And one of the ways that I do that is to help them create some ritual and ceremony around their grief so that they're able to release their feelings of sorrow, which is really important in the grief journey. So the ultimate goal is to get to the other side of your grief and yes that does take time uh, but it isn't time that heals all it's what we do with that time so beyond a funeral or a memorial service or if you're coping with a dramatic change in your life uh, it's really important to find ways to release those feelings and give expression to what's going on inside for you. So rituals are a way to do that and they're not scary, they're not strange, they're not abnormal. We have rituals that we do every day. We have morning rituals. We get up, we shower, brush our teeth and have our coffee and maybe read the paper. We have nighttime rituals and children especially, you know, having a bath, a story time, a snack and getting ready for bed. Those are all rituals or routines that we do. So finding a way to uh, create a bit of ceremony around how you're feeling uh, or to do an action that ha has great meaning for you is a perfect way to release your feelings of sorrow. So here's a quick tip. Uh, anyone living near uh, the ocean, a lake, a stream, it doesn't have to be fast moving water, just someplace that's accessible to you. You can walk along uh, the water's edge and find some very special rocks and dry them off. Or you can go to a craft store and purchase little bags of rocks that are fairly flat and uh, great for writing on. Uh, take a felt pen, a sharpie with you that's permanent and on those rocks write inspirational messages or you can write the name of your loved one that you're missing or just a thought about them and uh, if it's an inspirational message uh, it's kind of fun to leave those on the beach just scattered about for the next person to find because you never know what they're going through and that may be something that they have uh, that will help them to hang on and get through another day. If it's a message to your loved one and uh, you want to send that to them like you just the very action of writing that out will help you to give expression and release your feelings and then just drop them in the water and let them float away and uh, use it as a symbol of sending love uh, to your loved one who's not here and I guarantee you will feel lighter you will feel a sense of warmth and love and joy because that love that you send out is going to come right back to you from your loved one. Uh, they're only a breath away and they're thinking of you too. I hope this helps and uh, I look forward to uh, comments. Uh, visit me at thehopegenerator.com uh, on Facebook. Uh, you can find the Hope Generator as well and leave me a comment and let me know how this ritual worked for you. Take care and God bless.